Hi, welcome to my eye information channel. My name is Chris and I am a practicing optometrist in the UK. If you were at all familiar with eyes, you've probably come across the terms long sight or hypermetropia before. So in this video, I'm going to show you what being long sighted means and how this is corrected. First, just a few words about how the eye works in ideal circumstances. Now, if you've already seen this part in one of my other videos, or if you know it anyway, I've included timestamps in the description for you to skip ahead. OK, the eye's focusing system consists of three main components. The retina, which is the light sensitive film on the back of the eye. The cornea, which is the transparent focusing surface on the front of the eye and the lens inside the eye. The cornea and lens between them focus light onto the retina. Whenever you are looking at something, in order for you to see it clearly, the light from it must be focused directly onto your retina. So with an eye that doesn't need glasses, when you are looking at a distant object such as a TV screen, the lens remains in its weakest state and the eye does not have to exert any active focusing effort. The light from the distant object enters the eye and is focused by the cornea and the lens onto the retina. But when you are looking at a near object such as a book or iPad screen, because this is much closer to you, the lens will not be powerful enough to focus the light onto the retina. So the eye exerts focusing effort and this makes the lens change shape and become more powerful so that the light from the near object is focused onto the retina. This is in an eye that doesn't need glasses. Now, in a long sighted eye, the focusing system is too weak. So when light from a distant object enters the eye, the image is not formed onto the retina, but rather somewhere behind the retina, as shown here. In order to see clearly, the person has to apply focusing effort to make the lens change shape and get more powerful. When looking up close, the eye has to apply even more focusing effort to make the lens very powerful. This excessive focusing effort can result in eye strain, headaches, double vision, and in some cases, it can cause one eye to point in towards the nose. So how is this corrected? By using convex lenses. This means a lens that is thicker in the middle and thinner at the outside edges, as shown here. When light passes through a convex lens, it begins to converge. When a convex lens is placed in front of the long sighted eye, what happens now is the light from a distant object passes through the lens and begins to converge. Because the light is converging when it enters the eye, the image is now correctly focused onto the retina without the person having to apply any extra focusing efforts. When the person looks at a near object, because the light rays are converged by the convex lens, the eye only has to apply a normal or expected amount of focusing effort to see clearly. In short, being long sighted means your eyes have to over focus and it is corrected by wearing glasses or contact lenses that do the extra focusing for you. In fact, the term hypermetropia actually means over focusing. And because the glasses or contact lenses are doing the extra focusing for you, any symptoms that were happening because of the excessive focusing, such as eye strain, headaches, or one eye pointing inwards, should stop as a result. I hope you have found this video informative. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you. If you'd like to see more videos covering various eye conditions, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you later. Bye.